Hey guys, Marlo back again with yet another video review and unboxing. This time it's for the DC Multiverse, Justice League, Batman, and Cyborg variant figures. Now these are variants from the regular Justice League line that Mattel has been producing. You can call these the Mother Box uh, variants because they both include halves to form three different mother boxes there which hopefully we will see in the final film so there may be even more mother boxes in the film we don't know but for now we at least have a look at the three here and I'll give you a good look at the figure in the package we have Batman which is different from the first release which was the armored version of Batman this is the more standard, traditional looking Batman that we all know. And then Cyborg, he looks to be pretty much the same except for the covered face. And it doesn't look like he comes with the arm accessory. So we'll compare him to the regular version to see if there's any other variations. Again, I can't really tell just by looking at it right now, but we will see. I'll give you guys a good view of the box. And the images there. Let me turn these guys around. Give you guys a look at the back. Pretty much the same for both. If you want, you can pause the video to read all that. And those are the mother boxes fully assembled. And again, the side of the package with the images of the characters there from the film. All right, let me open them up and give you guys a closer look and then a final look at the figures with the regular versions and I suppose I can bust out the collection and give, give eh, excuse me, give you guys a closer look at all of them uh, with all the figures. Okay, we have the figures out of the package and next to them are their corresponding mother box pieces. So let me get them assembled. Basically, oops, they're really light, so that one just slipped out of my hand. Sorry about that. You basically just uh, pop them together. This should be pretty easy. Let's see if I can match them up. I think this goes with this. Psych, I'm not that dumb. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, try to join these pieces together like so. And this one, oops, sorry. Trying to get this on camera while doing this with one hand is a little bit tricky. Uh, hopefully that looks okay. Okay, so there's that one. And last but not least, oops, oops, oops. Okay. Let's get this one assembled. There we go. So we have the three mother boxes fully assembled now. I guess this is a, this is a little bit of a spoiler for the film. So we'll probably see these at some point. And also this look for Cyborg Hopefully we'll see this. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be in the film too, where he covers his face with this sort of helmet shield type thing. And again, Batman. This looks to be different from the Batman vs. Superman Batman somehow. I can tell from the abs there that that's a little bit different. And I think the face and head are a little bit more defined from what I recall. I don't have the Superman vs. Batman figure with me right now, unfortunately, but this one looks really cool. I'm really glad that they made this version of Batman, even though you guys might think, oh, he's just the regular Batman again. I prefer that Batman over the one we've seen in the regular version, which is that armored version that kind of looks like Owlman from the Watchmen film. So let me get the standard versions and give you guys a comparison with those figures. 
And here we have the variant Batman and Cyborg next to the regular release versions. We can start off with Batman here. We have the armored regular release version on the right side with the goggles and everything. Again, to me, he's looking more like Owlman from the Watchmen series. Don't really dig this look. Kind of funky. Hopefully he doesn't wear this in most of the film. I'd prefer him in the more traditional looking Batman outfit there. So you can see they're quite different throughout. Very different. And I thought Cyborg would be pretty much the same, except for the head sculpt. And with the standard version here, he comes with the interchangeable arms. And I removed the regular hand and attached the cannon weapon. But other than the head sculpt, there is some difference in the upper body. If you look closely, this is the uh, comparison time. Let's see what you guys can spot. Look at the abs. There's some differences here with the armor there. Definitely different stuff going on in the shoulders. There's like some shoulder padded armor there. And along the biceps. You can see there's like some striations or something there in the arm that is lacking in the variant. And definitely you can notice the bigger shoulder pads. The forearms are also a little bit different. These are a little bit more fleshy looking whereas these are more robotic and techy looking. So very cool that they actually changed up the body a little bit. You can see there on the what do you call that part again? The upper part there of the neck and everything is looking also different. But the legs, for the most part, from what I can tell here on camera, look to be about the same. Maybe just some slight paint variations. I think the knees are darker here, but overall the uh, sculpt is still the same. So quite interesting. Pretty cool. So there's the variant figures next to the standard. Once again, the mother boxes. Let me break out my whole Justice League collection for now for the film and give you guys a look at them all side by side. And here is the whole Mattel multiverse Justice League collection that I have. And I'm not sure if they're going to produce more, but what I believe is it for the meantime. You have the main Justice League characters with the two new variants of Batman and Cyborg. The Trinity right there, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. And of course, if you collected them all, the Build-A-Figure Darkseid. Did I say Darkseid? Yes, I did. I'm just playing with you guys. It's Steppenwolf. <laughs> so hopefully that's not spoiling anything in the film. Uh, Steppenwolf will be the villain. Hopefully we'll get a glimpse of Darkseid though. That would be kind of neat. And also the World of Apocalypse. So we'll see. Looking forward to the film. I believe it's coming out this November 2017. Anyways, one quick pass once again. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, share the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love sharing what I collect and all the stuff in my ever-growing collection. So please subscribe. Take care, guys. Keep on collecting. Bye-bye.